Joining me now is the Democratic Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett of Texas. She's a member of the Oversight and Accountability and Agriculture Committee. She's previously worked as a public defender and a civil rights attorney. And it's uh, your debut with me in studio. <laughs> it is. It's so good to see you. We talk so person. often that it, it, it feels like we know each other so know, well. So it's great to see years. you. for years. I, I wanted to talk to you about this because th when I say what can we do, yeah. this is a call to action. Yeah. We are in a battle not of our choosing. Yeah. Most Americans did not pick a fight with Donald Trump, but he has picked a fight with most of us. Absolutely. So it, it's fine that people expect to vote and hope they will vote and think that more people will vote for Joe Biden than Donald Trump. Yeah. But this calls for a little bit more than that. It does. Um, it you know, it's interesting because you talk about the fight that we didn't pick. Um, I never wanted to be in politics. I never took a political science course. I never thought that this is the way that my life would turn out. Um, but at some point in time, you get frustrated and you say, what more can I do? Mm -hmm. And sometimes when it's just you, you think that there's not enough that you as an individual can do. But that girl that went from being frustrated now somehow ended up in the U.S. House, a place that I never intended to be. And so it's the people that are frustrated. It's the people that just don't know that actually we need digging in. We don't mm -hmm. need the politicos digging in. Mm -hmm. We need the people that say genuinely my life is being a affected mm -hmm. by what's going on around me. That's right. I have a sorority sister that's in the state house in Texas, Tony Rose, and she always says to people, she says, you may not do politics, but politics mm -hmm. will do you. That's right. And so I think the more that people recognize that our lives are so well connected to politics, the more angry they may become or the more inspired that they may become right. to say, let me dig in, whether it means that they're volunteering on a campaign. I had so many um, brand new volunteers when I ran for the state house that could be from brand new, meaning they you energized them to come and campaign for you and they, they hadn't had, otherwise. They had never been involved in a campaign yeah. a day in their life. Yeah. Um, and so part of this is candidates, candidates that inspire people right. and make them want more. Right. That's what we saw when we had Barack Obama. You saw so many people that had never been engaged in politics that were so attracted to him. And so this election cycle, I don't know who people are excited about, but I know that people are excited about the issues. They're excited about the possibility of having real freedom in this country again. They're excited about the opportunity to have reproductive freedom, the opportunity to make sure that we are caring about what is going into the atmosphere and the air and that we have a greener space. Um, it's excitement as well as fear. Yeah, that comes and, these and, and I guess the trick is either any of us can experience either the excitement or the fear, or the yeah. anxiety or the inspiration. Yeah. But Perhaps you can change the bad one into the good one. Yeah. Right. You can look at the situation out there. And I think a lot of people are fearful. And that's what Donald Trump wants. He wants you to be fearful of immigrants, of yeah. uh, black people, of, of transgender people, well, whatever it is. He wants yeah. you to be fearful. You can take that and say, I'd like to direct my energies. And, and you and I have talked about many different versions of this. It can be your school board. Yeah. It can be your public library. It can be going up to your librarians and tell them that you support them. It can be phone banking. Yeah. It can be running. It can be anything, and and that's what I want to do. I, as I go around and I speak across the country, one of the things that I always tell people is the power belongs to the people. None of these seats belong to us. People say, oh, that's your seat. No, it's not my seat. I am here and I serve at the pleasure of Congressional District 30 in Texas. The power belongs to the people. And it's time for the people to take their power back. For so long, people have felt powerless. They would say things like, well, it doesn't matter if we vote. They're going to do what they want right. to do. No. The reason that they want to change the laws all around the South, mostly, is because they know that your power is just that strong. We've seen it in Georgia. They want Georgia to continue to believe that they don't have the power to come out, turn out again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and be blue. They want them to believe that they're destitute and the system is going to hold them down. But the way that our system in this country was built, it was built based on the power belonging to the people. Right. And so and that it doesn't mean that you have to run for office. But let me tell you, I didn't get here by myself. It was a whole coalition of people. It was a village of people. Right. And so the idea that you have to have um, that legacy politician versus that little girl from St. Louis who yeah. just got frustrated and had a few skills because she had a law degree. Um, you can have another Jasmine Crockett or another Maxwell Frost or Eric Swalwell, or whoever it is that yep. you really feel inspired by. Yep. But it's about, number one, letting those people know that you've got their back. You I can know, also let the Jasmine Crockett know. 
You right? can. You could, you, could, you could find early Jasmine Crockett absolutely. and say, I think you're frustrated. Absolutely. Why don't you do this about it? Absolutely. You, you can absolutely inspire people because that's what I had. I had people, I, I remember before my predecessor even decided that she was going to retire, people told me to start looking at the seat because they said, well, she's getting to retirement age. And I said, no, 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 no. We've got plenty of drama in the state house. And it was so hard for me to get here. Most people wonder and they say, where did Jasmine Crockett come from? They don't realize that I had the closest state house race in Texas when I ran. That's right. I only won by 90 votes. And so when people feel like their votes don't count, I try to tell them I wouldn't be in Congress but for people believing enough right. to put me into the state Somebody house. Somebody who came day. out maybe late in the day and said, I don't know if she's going to make it over the top. I'm going to be the one Absol- to help do it. Absolutely. That's the power. Absolutely. That so is the power. We have in the South, in Texas, in Georgia, it was about voting. In Texas, it started about voting. Then it became about abortion. In mm-hmm. Florida, it's about abortion and book banning. We have all sorts of freedoms that are being taken yeah. away. We That is the obligation of citizenship. You have yeah. rights as a citizen, including yeah. the right to vote. But you have obligations to protect what that is yeah and that needs to be motivating too. all of those whatever those things are your freedom and your environmental freedom it's all being taken away from you it is and i i am so excited about florida i may be the only person that is excited about florida because the people get to raise their voices it's something that we don't have access to in the state of texas they don't allow us to do things like that we can't just collect signatures and get a constitutional amendment on the books, which is very annoying. But nevertheless, Florida does have an opportunity. Yes. And I believe in the people. I know, number one, that Donald Trump never won the popular vote. I know that there's more of us that believe in making sure that people have access to the freedoms that they deserve, whether you agree with that freedom or not, because they recognize yep. that if you'll come after this freedom, you'll come after another one. You talked about our trans kids. You know, the fact that you have politicians that think that it makes sense to beat up on women and take their rights away and then go after kids. I mean, it's the most ridiculous thing ever. That's why people feel like the system doesn't work. That's why people feel like these people are kings and queens instead of being servants. We are public servants to the people. And I really believe that even in Florida, that the people are going to rise up and show them better than they can tell them. And that is a small act that's going to have very big results. Just go out there, vote, make sure somebody else is going out to vote, make sure you take them with you on polling day. And you know what? Give them water and food, too. Yeah, water. yeah, that's absolutely. Some, that's some BS. Uh, Jasmine Crockett, what a great thing to see you in real great life here. I really you. appreciate it. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.